The Class 4 horses make their first appearance on Wednesday night in race number three over the 1,650 metres. And Gang of Brothers just struggled with the 135 pounds last time. He won the two starts prior. Chris's has the blinkers for the first time. Lean Hero's back to the 1650. Diamond Diamond ran fifth at his first start. Sunny Delight, we haven't seen him since February. He's had the one trial. Durham Stars, both wins have been over 1,200 metres. Multi win, the blinkers are off. Co partner Fion is back in trip. Shadow roll off, the blinkers go back on and we've got two infinity and cordyceps one nick both coming back up in grade after recent race uh, class five appearances yeah the speed map here uh, we've got it down as good now gang of brothers a uh, horse that likes to to roll forward i mean he's not a, a sort of a died in the wall leader but uh, he's about some of the only pace in the race really and uh, he's drawn seven so um i think even under his big way he can possibly go and lead them cordyceps one uh, is uh, drawn in four now he shouldn't be too far away from the pace uh, multi win was uh, was another who has gone forward uh, two starts ago and, and has drawn a decent gate as well. So I think the lead might be up for grabs here, Tom. Could be, um, Gang of Brothers. Multi win, he was slow away in his recent barrier trial. He was hard ridden, and last time out, he was also slow away in his uh, last race day start. But his prior run, he, he did go forward, so he'd need to get out cleanly if uh, Angus had designs on the lead here with uh, that horse multi win. We're going to start, Tom, though, with the last start of Lean Hero running sixth at a rainy Shard 10. It's behind an informed super highway, and he won't mind coming back to this trip on Wednesday night. No, he won't. It was from barrier 14 to this time round as well uh, with uh, a slow track, and he's got barrier 1 here, so should get all favours. And he actually stayed on pretty well here over the final stages, uh, a course and distance winner here at uh, Happy Valley. Of course, this over the 1,200 uh, metres, but was doing his best work late on a, a track he probably didn't really fancy, Nick. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, he's, uh, he's a nice sort of uh, shape of a horse, nice type of horse, and he's got that, that sort of action which probably doesn't lend itself too kindly to, to that surface. But coming back to this course where he's won at 20 to 1, coming back to this trip certainly gives him claims. And Barry number 1, 2 for Lean Hero. Next up, uh, Nick, we move on to Diamond Diamond. This was his debut. His last turning for home. He's up in distance. Zach Purton jumps on board for Ben O'Young. Yeah, which, let's start there, shall we? 37.1% is their strike rate this season. It's uh, it's quite extraordinary, quite phenomenal. Um, very interesting runner. He's a son of So You Think. Now, I delve into his pedigree. Not a guarantee that he's going to appreciate going up and trip, but they go 1,200 to 1,650, Tom, which I, I certainly think is an interesting move. He's yeah, certainly on the, the sideline anyway. He was, should be able to see out the, the 1,650 being by So You Think. And he was at the back of the field. He was a bit green and a bit keen in the early stages. Super Commanders come out of that race and won, and Dream Pursuer came out and ran second at the weekend so the form out of the race has been good and he's up and trip maybe he'll be that bit closer this time round too that was diamond diamond now the class five of form tom cordyceps one loves the 1650 two infinity two wins from his last three can they come up in grade and be competitive yeah well, i think cordyceps one certainly can uh, like the way he attacked the line here late he's an option of certainly going forward and only just missed here behind faithful trinity he's won a trial since look good in that uh, trial uh, up and grade down and waiting with him yeah, look, of the two, Cordyceps 1 for me would be the one to uh, to take out of it because he's sort of been there, done it, got the T-shirt in Class 4, whereas 2 Infinity has had 7 runs in, in Class 4 and he's never been able to, to get warm. So he faces a tougher task, I think, than the uh, than the bottom weight. And the early favourite putters would agree with Cordyceps 1, Tom. Yeah, he's certainly a big chance in the races, so Cordyceps 1, and I've gone with him here for uh, Francis Law and Karis Tetton. He's won off a rating of 41 in this grade uh, before. He's a two-time uh, winner with the lightweight, uh, so 12 over 4, Diamond Diamond. Lots to like about his first uh, up effort, only beaten two links at a, a big price. You won't get that sort of price this time round with him. To infinity, I think, can take the, the step up here, but does need to front up in this grade from a, a little bit of a tricky draw. No doubt uh, will be back and lean hero the other one 12 4 10 and 3 yeah i can't really have much more to that in fairness um i like the bottom one here uh cordyceps one and uh he'll go on top uh, for all the all the points uh, made diamond diamond i think is a fascinating runner here obviously benno young and zach Purton uh combining always worth taking note uh, of that pair and the fact that he's going up uh, quite drastically in trip suggests that they're, they're keen that this is his distance to infinity look he's in form stabler in form but he does have to prove himself in this grade and lean hero, hard to, to sort of leave him out, I think, uh, on all known form, especially here when he was a winner three starts back. Uh, 12, 4, 10, 3. Easy as that. All about 12, 4, 10 and 3 from both uh, Nick and Tom for the first leg of the opening treble.